heavy. Bored. And as I wanted to stress in that monologue, you know, he's, he's a big deal. He's a big deal. He's 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 a well-earned reputation, and of course now uh, in 2023 he is aging out, and even in 2017 I think. And if you notice, <clears throat> at least I noticed on this one, this little hardcover edition from Harper Collins, um, there isn't a whole lot of like praise. There's praise for another book on the back, uh, which again should say something about this collection, listeners. But I don't want to give the wrong idea. I uh, respect Simic. I think he's a good writer. He's a great kind of contributor. He's canonized. Uh, but it, according to this book, and I haven't read his most recent stuff post-2017 here, but uh, it appears to me that he's clearly on the decline here. That he's clearly not able to do what he did all those years ago. And especially in 1989 with The World Doesn't End, I think he's just clearly... And you know, that's fine, right? That's fine. You don't have to put out a masterpiece every single book. You can have a stinker come out every once in a while. Like, I think people read a little bit too much into that type of uh, uh, criticism. And uh, it reminds me of the famous Orson Welles quote... When he was older, you know, fat and wearing bathrobes and always smoking cigars, uh, they asked him in an interview, I forget where it was, it might have been like Life magazine or something like that back in the day, and they said, you know, don't you wish you had another Citizen Kane? Don't you wish you had another, you know, hit legendary movie? And during the interview, Orson Welles looks at him, you know, puffing that cigar and his fucking, you know, fat bathrobe, chest hair out, and he's just smoking that cigar, and he's like, hmm, you only need one. And it's true. You only need one. You only need one masterpiece. That's it. You need one. And if you can do more than one, you're fucking Shakespeare, baby. Like, I mean, this is, there is, it's so hard. It's so hard to just do one masterpiece, I think. That, and, you know, we're always striving to do that. I think you should as a writer, as a creator, as a poet, as anything, be striving to create masterpieces. But, you know, you only need one. And you do one, you can just kind of, you know, the decline doesn't matter as much because you've already done your thing, right? You've already contributed to the field. A toot on the bait. Inner. Resources. American resources. Sweats and the day sweats, pal. Pal, I do.